beautiful people, welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day today, and I hope that you are having a great start to 2021, first of all, because in today's video, y'all, we're gonna ring it in right. We're just gonna bring it in true with a uh, testing new high-end makeup video, because these are one of my absolute favorite videos to film. You guys love watching them, and I've been kind of collecting things like pink, pink, pink over the last couple of weeks, and I'm just really excited. We have everything from the new Bare Minerals Liquid Foundation, the new Buxom White Russian Collection. Oh my God, <laughs> looks so beautiful. Uh, we have a couple of things from KVD. We've even got a grande brow, like, what is this? Um, uh, hello, brow gel, there we go. All of the story, okay, I'm not gonna like go through every product because I talk a lot and this intro, like my intros are already 87 minutes long and I'm gonna try to like be better at that, okay? 2021, the year of the slightly less long intro. <laughs> And you know what? Speaking of manifesting thoughts and making a shorter intro, haha, <laughs> look, look at the segue here. Um, I like to stop at the start of all my videos and introduce myself. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Again, just for anybody that's never been here before, I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they usually go up right around like 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. So we have bright early morning uploads. And then, of course, while we're on the topic of the manifesting and making the intro shorter, um, one of the things that made them longer is that I'm still trying to hit 10,000 followers over on Instagram. And so I feel the need at the start of every video to tell you guys, if you haven't followed me over there yet, please, please go and do that. Everything is linked down below. I put up a ton, a ton of content over there. There is uh, makeup stuff, makeup inspo photos, makeup reels, makeup uh, mini tutorials, mini makeup reviews. I do actually a lot of like makeup check-ins and stuff like that too. And the IG stories, like the day-to-day -day ones. I do plus size fashion. I'm really getting into and having fun with like self-portraits, a little bit of photography. And I really do enjoy obviously the, you know, posting in the feed and stuff like that. But I think one of the things that's really connected me with you guys over the last six months has by far been the IG stories, like the day-to-day -day where we hang out in my car, the office, we do PR unboxings or regular unboxing. And I even started doing things like um, OOTDs or outfits of the day where I kind of show you guys like this is what I'm wearing, it's casual, business casual, whatever. And I just feel like all of the content over there is hitting so well and you guys are really enjoying it. And it's just a fun place. Oh, and by the way too, if you're ever looking for like the behind the scenes of this, it's where you see all the makeup that I'm gonna be reviewing. I ask you guys questions, you take polls, and I kind of get more feedback um, over there than I do over here anyways because, I, you know, obviously I can interact with you easier on that platform. And so in conclusion, okay, I'm just going to put a little bow on it and be done. Speaking of manifesting a shorter intro, um, I should probably shut up and get into the video, but I am so excited. The day that I hit 10K over there, I just look out, okay? Just get, get the hell out the way because there is gonna be so much <laughs> happening over there. There's gonna be posting. There's gonna be just like fireworks shooting out of my ears. I'm gonna be linking everything. Air, hair, necklace, I don't care. Like, I don't even care. You're gonna be like, Paige, what socks are you wearing? Boom, I'm gonna link them. Like, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just so excited. And obviously this is a celebration that will continue for quite some time. So just be prepared, be prepared to see the most excited, the most elated version of me that you will have ever seen because I am just so excited. So moral of the story, follow me on Instagram. Everything is linked down below. Subscribe, turn on your post notifications before you leave. And let's go ahead, zoom the camera in and let's get started. Okay, okay. All right, you guys, so off of camera really quick, I zoomed in and I added a little bit of the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. And I like to use this anytime I am, you know, testing out a new foundation, like just new complexion products. That way I have a good base that I'm familiar with and I absolutely love this primer. So I went in with a little bit of that. It's just sinking in. And I figured while it's sinking in, we would go through some of the specs on this foundation. This is the newest one from Bare Minerals. And it says this is their original liquid mineral foundation. And in the description here, it says that this is a light as air liquid foundation with a boosted mineral formula. It blurs imperfection, leaves skin looking naturally airbrushed, and it reduces the look of pores and redness over time. It gives you medium buildable coverage um, with a formula that is made of just 19 clean ingredients. It says when it comes to healthy looking skin, less does more. And it also says on the front here that this has broad spectrum SPF 20 sunscreen. And how many ounces are we getting here? One full fluid ounce, that is good. And I have it in the shade Golden Fair 04. All right, so as far as the packaging goes, I actually think they chose the perfect packaging for this specific foundation because with this type of packaging, if you're not familiar, first of all, it has a twist up cap, which I absolutely love. This is great for travel, um, which I mean, not that that's relevant right now, um, but I really love this type of packaging, like the component itself. But as far as the actual freshness, like maintaining the integrity of the foundation, I think this is going to be great because this is the type of packaging that as you squirt it out right here, it actually um, like via, via air transfer, it kind of moves it up. So instead of like with a regular, 
regular foundation, you pump it out from the bottom and it always, you know, just kind of comes out that way. This one is actually going to move the floor of the bottle. This little thing right here is just going to raise up over time. What that does is actually twofold. Number one, it um, allows you to get all of the product out because it's actually going to like squeegee the sides as it comes up. So you'll be able to get literally all of this product, which is great. But number two, and arguably the most important um, as far as like a container like this, is that it is an airtight uh, container where no air actually gets into or is exposed to the product, which means that the components in here are the, I'm sorry, the ingredients are going to stay good and fresh and they're going to maintain like their molecular structure until the day that you use them, as opposed to a lot of other foundation where air is constantly introduced into the bottle over and over again, which can break down a product over time. So as far as I'm concerned, all of that to be said, I really like this packaging. Um, I love it for, you know, stuff like this, stuff like skincare and anything like that where the, um, where the ingredients can like break down because they're more simple or they're clean ingredients. I love it when they go with stuff like that. I just think it's a really thoughtful um, move on their part. Oh my God, you guys, everything stop, like every, every, everything pause. Whatever I was talking about, it doesn't matter. Look at how decent this shade matches. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, are we going into 2021 almost matching like correctly? Uh, like I would actually argue this is like the best color I could have gotten. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so proud of me. Oh my God. Watch the next foundation. It's going to be purple, but that's fine. Okay. We're going to live in this moment. We're going to thrive right here. Also, please don't oxidize. I will be so upset. <laughs> okay. So that right there is one side on and applied. And I actually really like it with a sponge. I'm going to do both sides this way. Um, sometimes when I do my reviews, you know, I kind of play it by ear, but with the texture of this being what it is, it's kind of like a medium thickness. And I think based on like, I'm having a little bit more surface texture right now. And I think a brush would just kind of um, smear it around, give me a lot of streaks and I'd have to smooth it out anyways. So I'm just going to go ahead and do, like I said, both sides here. I really like the way that this presses in. It gives a nice, um, I would say medium coverage right from the start. Okay. And then hello here. <laughs> if, if you're new, this might be a little abrupt, but um, anytime I'm testing out like a new foundation, especially in a first impression where I'm going to be piling on other products. Um, and you know, obviously it's not like a dedicated wear test or a dedicated video to it. I do like to, you know, bring you guys in, show you as much as I can. And I think a lot of that really happens in this up close. That way you guys can see, um, you know, how it's looking as far as the texture, the coverage, and just all the things. And I will say too, something I wanted to add with this is it does have a little bit, um, like it's definitely a natural finish, but I would say it's natural leaning, like slightly dewy or glowy on the skin. And you can see it like right through here, especially like my upper cheeks are looking like it, my, you know, my chin, um, just a couple of areas that I think look very nice, very lit from within again, glowy, not so much dewy, but I think we're natural leaning in the, in the uh, glowy department. And it does look really, really beautiful, especially with that nice medium coverage. It has more of a breathable lightweight feel pretty nice. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's zoom out. Let's move on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. So at this point, I don't have any other new products for like concealer, powder, stuff like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and buzz through those. First thing up we have is the Boing Cakeless Concealer from Benefit. And this is actually in shade number one. And it was sent to me in PR from Benefit. But uh, just so you guys know, I've talked about it a lot. I've actually raved about this concealer. I really like it. And uh, it's one that I would repurchase and I have purchased on my own before. And then over top of that, like under the eyes and through the T-zone, area where I just put the concealer. I went in with some of the one size setting powder from Patrick Star, and I use this in another like testing full face new makeup. I'll link it up here, but I've been testing this out and guys, I'm kind of loving it. And I really like it paired with this concealer. They look really, really pretty together. All right. And then really quick here, before I go in and set the face, which I'm going to use the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination Press Powder. Um, I'm going to use this in the shade light to set everything down. But really quickly before I do that, I just want to do a little touch test and see how it's feeling for the those of you um, that you don't like to set your face, and you know what? It actually is feeling pretty good. I think this is um, a decent enough dry down that if you, like I said, you don't like to powder, that's not really your thing. I think you could wear this without having to set it or maybe lightly, lightly setting it, but it actually is soaking in very, very nicely. And you can see like over this cheek, there's actually not um, very much shine left. So it really is settling in, which is nice. So next up, I'm just going to take some of my bronzer out of this Lethal Cosmetics palette. I'm not sure which one it is because um, it doesn't say on the back of it, but I use this in the video where I tested out Teresa is dad's favorite makeup. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it right up here. It's a part of a series that I do um, fairly frequently actually on this channel where I like to pick a YouTuber and go through and test out their favorite makeup as the name would suggest. And uh, Teresa, oh my God, I got to try out some bomb ass new makeup, you guys. And this has been such a fantastic bronzer. Like the feel of it, the texture is so beautiful. And actually, you know what? Maybe I can tell you what shade it is. I think you can pop these out. Hold on. <laughs> you guys, I did it. I did it. I did it. The color is not on the back. <laughs> you guys, after 
after all of that, okay, I still don't know the shade. I can tell you that it is in the lightest palette. So it was the lightest one that they made. Um, I want to say that I picked up two different palette versions. One started with a V, one started with a B. But I can tell you, even though I don't know this exact shade, like look at how beautiful that is. I'm gonna have to zoom the camera out because uh, I'm starting to look weird. So I did previously address this in another video, but I just think it's funny. Um, I mentioned in that video that like I'm not gonna be obsessed with lighting. You know, I'll move the camera in and out like I did just now and I'll try to adjust it. But it was so funny, the amount of people in the comments <laughs> of that video, because I said, you know, you, there's a lot of places on the internet you can go for like perfect lighting and perfect this and perfect application and perfect blush, because y'all know, okay, I'm about ready to just blush this shit up. Um, and you, you can find a lot of other people for that in places and that's great. Like there's thousands of people on the internet for that reason. But like on this channel, <laughs> this ain't the place. It says, okay, this is not the place where you are gonna find like the perfect lighting and the perfect stuff. Because on this channel, oh, <laughs> on this channel, we're just all about the extra. We're all about the weird lights. And we're really all about this palette. You guys, this is the Buxom palette we're playing with. This is, this is my segue. Um, and I am just, oh my God. <laughs> like, I love everything about this. These two blushes are so beautiful. I swatched them over on Instagram. I feel like on camera, these are just not gonna transcend the way that I want them to. Yeah, they're, de they're definitely not. Um, one of them is a little bit more pinky. The other one is a little more peachy. They both actually have a beautiful, like, built-in glow. Very similar, well, to the, hmm, hello, very similar to the um, Buxom Wanderlust blushes, which are one of my all-time favorite blushes. They are so great. These have a very similar, like I said, just built-in sheen to them. Super beautiful. I'm gonna mix both of these because I love the fact that one's a little bit more peachy, one's a little more pinky, and I think the combo of the two is actually gonna be really beautiful. So I'm just gonna mix them together very lightly, tap off the excess, and go in. <laughs> I'm gonna start nice and light. You guys know, oh my god, I was rolling in those comments. You guys, I was, I was dying. Um, in the previous one, I think it was testing like drugstore makeup. I'll link it up here, the video I keep talking about. But I mentioned in that video how I'm just like, I'm going to go in with a little cream blush. I was testing out the new, um, these ones from Flower Beauty these gel sticks, and I was testing them out. I'm like, I'm just gonna go in with a little. I literally cut to me like a second later, boof, I had so much blush on, uh, but I can't help it. It's just, I love blush so much, and honestly, with the way that I do my makeup, because again, I'm not a professional, um, I, I like to go in and kind of, in a weird way, I kind of over apply my blush, and then I like to go back in later and I shape out my face, so I add a little brightness under the eyes, a little bit more definition on the chin, and uh, stuff like that, so I think that, you know, it, it works for me. It's probably not the way that every everybody does it, but like I just, I love blush and I think it's so beautiful. And it is one of those ones too throughout the day that can fade. So, you know, I just, I, I like to maybe counteract that a little bit. Like in, in my subconscious, I'm like, oh, better add some extra because it could go away. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. You guys, the lightest, most fantastic glow that I'm getting right now. <gasps> Are you kidding? It looks so great and it's very, very seamless, which I like. Oh my God. And even on my nose, like I just lightly dabbed a little bit there. And it looks so good. Like, the texture of my nose is gone. It's such a smoothing blush. But at this point, just because I physically can't stand it, okay? Like, I cannot wait. I, I will actually pass out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get up next into... I'm gonna get up next. <laughs> I'm gonna giddy up. Why do I talk? <laughs> wow. Uh, but I'm gonna get into, rather, this uh, Buxom Wanderlust Glow Highlighter, again, in the shade White Russian. And let's start off first, actually. I need to spray my face. for If you're new here, anytime I go in um, with a highlight, I like to spray everything down, really press the makeup that I have into my skin, and then go in with highlight. I feel like it just helps keep everything smooth. It keeps the application nice and buttery, buttery soft, rather, because y'all know, love butter. So I'm gonna go in with some of the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Setting Spray. And let's just take a little bit, taking off my glasses, because again, I spray those far too often. So let's just take a little bit. All right, and while that's drying, let's take a little look-see at this highlight. I think what I love about this is that it's so true to the, um, like, the white Russian brand, because it's more of, like, a, like, a pearlescent pink for a highlight, as opposed to, like, a, like, a radioactive, you know, like, stripe of intensity. I feel like this one's gonna be a lot more melded in, and on my skin tone, this might be a little bit too deep, because I am super, super fair, but, uh, I'm still gonna give it a shot. If I have to brighten it up with a different highlight, that's totally fine, and I'm gonna actually apply this with the, uh, Tarte brush I've been using lately. So many of you, by the way, have asked me about this. It's a really old one from them. I think it was a part of their um, Rainforest of the Sea collection. I bought it like three years ago, and I recently realized that I absolutely freaking love this. Oh, what am I doing? Hello, focus. Um, I absolutely love using this brush for highlight because it has like a, a fluffy kind of duo fiber effect, and it just really buffs my highlight in like super duper seamless. Okay, so let's do it on this side now so that way you guys can actually see what's happening. I'm just very, very lightly. I'm like apl applying little to no pressure right now, just really working it in. 
Oh, that is so beautiful. It's such a nice, light, soft pink. And I love the texture so far. It's not cumbersome at all. It's really melting in, which is perfect. I'm taking just a little bit here on the forehead just to kind of glow up everything evenly. A little bit, you know, down the nose as well. Cupid's bow, chalupa chin. Hashtag chalupa chin. Hashtag chalupa chin. Y'all know I like to have that grease just dripping down. Like I bit into that chalupa, that taco. I'm living at Chalupaville and it's just dripping down, honey, looking so good. That's my ideal chin. Well, actually, I, I shouldn't say that. That's my ideal chin and then I like, you know, blot it off a little bit. Like I'm like, oh, it's just a little too far. And then I take off a little shine, a little bit of the grease, and then it looks beautiful and I love it. I do think that uh, this is one that I will have to lighten up because you can see it very lightly when I turn my head here, it very lightly kind of causes a cast. And it's not one that's bad. I actually think that it looks really beautiful. Like the, the tone of it with my skin tone is gorgeous. And I think with just a teeny, teeny bit of a lighter shade, I think it would work really, really nicely. And if I was just going for more of like a natural day I could use this by itself a day where you know I wanted like that shine but I wanted it to be more of like a highlight meets blush topper kind of moment I think that this would be perfect for that because it really is beautiful and it lifts the cheekbone it does everything that it should all right now like I was saying earlier I love to go through and shape out the face and I don't have anything new for that so I'm just gonna take my number seven um, lift and luminate powder this is in the shade light and I love taking this I'm just pressing it under my eyes just for that added brightness. I'll leave it there for a couple of minutes while I do the brows, you know, nothing nothing too crazy. But I find that it just really helps to smooth out this area. It helps make it truly look very lifted. And that's actually gonna lead us right into the next product here. This is the Grande Brow Fill. This is their new volumizing brow gel. And I have this in the shade, I think it's just in the shade dark. And I actually picked this up because I recently have developed an obsession, and I mean an obsession, with the Grande Brows Brow Gel Serum, like their growth serum, because, I mean, and if you've been here for any length of time, you guys know I have had such a struggle with my brows, growing the hair, getting them to have any fullness, and the only brow gel, or the only, I'm sorry, the only brow serum that I've ever tried that's worked really well is the one from them. And so when they came out with this, I was like, why the hell not? These people know brows. And it says here, this is a water-resistant brush-on brow gel infused with volumizing fibers and conditioning peptides. Our formula adheres to even the finest brow hairs, me, um, and leaving them, which leaves them fuller and more defined with a single application. And I'm like, yes, please, let's do it. I'm gonna lightly fluff this through first. I actually don't have anything else that's new for brows, so I will probably just take from here and add in like my little brow flick, which I'm testing out a bunch of those right now. Okay, so maybe it's just me, but my brows look kind of nice and full. Like they have a fluffy look to them. I know you guys probably can't see it on here, but you'll see it in the close-up later. Um, I just, I really like them. They look, especially in the middle, like the, the actual mid part of my brows, I feel like they have a nice like substantial oomph to them. And that's my oomph. I like, I like that. I don't like that noise, but I like the concept. All right, and then from there, like I mentioned before, I'm just gonna go in with a brow pen and lightly fill in my sparse areas. This is the uh, ABH brow pen, Right, yeah, ABH brow pen in the shade medium brown. All right, so from here we're moving on. Obviously finished up the brows, I dusted away the bake, and I shadow you guys this palette from Buxom. I know that they look so neutral, but this <laughs> this little six pan palette, this is like calling my whole name, and I'm I'm really like I'm tempted to use just this and create like the most beautiful light pinky vibe you've ever seen. Uh, but then on the flip side, <laughs> on the flip side, I also have these from uh, KVD Vegan Beauty, and these are their new dazzle sticks. And when I tell you. I have fought every urge in my body to not use these so far. I've had them for like two weeks. Obviously, I haven't even opened them. And I am just, oh my God, the level of excitement. So we're going to start with these. We're going to swatch them. Let's go ahead and, you know, pre prepare for the faint that's going to happen. This is the Dazzle Stick in the shade, hello, what shade is this? This is in Flash Storm. And I actually think this one is the one, yeah, it has more of like a rose gold pinky hue to it. And we're just going to go ahead. Let's look at it together. Okay, three, two, one, one swipe. <gasps> oh my God in heaven, you got Guys, I'm sorry, what is this? Also, it is such a soft formula. Okay, don't don't go all Cujo on it like I just did and just like ram it in your hand. Oh my God, that is so, be oh, the texture. Uh, this texture is so satisfying, you guys. What even is that? I can't. And it like blends out, like look at how easily, it's literally blending with my finger. Like just ever so gently. Oh, wow. Now getting into the second shade that I picked up, this is in the shade Thundercloud and I saw this one. This is the one I saw swatched. That was a very redundant sentence. But uh, I saw this one, nonetheless, on the internet. And this is the shade. It literally took my breath away. It looked so beautiful. Um, I believe it's just more of, yeah, it's like a straight uh, silver shimmery type situation. Let's go ahead. Okay, I wanna make sure I'm on my hand. Three, two, one, less pressure and go. Oh my God, 
<laughs> you guys, what? Oh my god, why would I add more? Hello, Paige, you don't need any more. <gasps> oh my, oh my. You guys, I don't even have words. What is, <laughs> what is that, you guys? Okay, you guys, I just had a vision and like I can see it clear as day. What we are going to do, it is going to look so beautiful, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, we are going to take these palettes, or these palettes, we're gonna take these shades, okay? We're going to deepen up the inner and the outer V, run a little through the crease. Then we are going to take both, because I cannot choose, okay? We're gonna take both of these. We're gonna pop this one on the inner, like, um, eyelid, but toward the inner and the outer V, and then we're gonna take just the silver shade and run that, like, right in the center and lightly diffuse it going up toward the brow bone. Oh, what do you think? Does that sound like a plan? Because I think it sounds like a damn great plan. Oh, especially, oh my God, you guys, what a great day. I forgot just until now I looked down. I'm also going to be testing out the Lunar Beauty brushes. Manny sent these over. Thank you so much, Manny. Oh my word. They are so beautiful. They have like an ombre effect that goes down the handle. The profiles of them are so, so nice. There's what, uh, seven brushes here? And the whole collection just looks so great. Manny, oh, he does such a great job curating makeup. I'm going to prime my eyelids just with a little bit of concealer. This is the first one I grabbed. It's my Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer and Eraser. And this is in the shade WN01. Alright, so first up, out of this palette, which I will swatch these here in just a second. I'm kind of doing everything all over the place um, because I'm just, that's where my brain is. But I'm going to take this shade right here. It's the shade Decadent. And I'm taking this with the Lunar Beauty. It's the LBE1. It's a nice fluffy crease brush. And I'm just going to take this and lightly throw it through the crease right here. I don't want it to be super dark. I don't want it to be super light. I want it to be just a nice color that everything else can kind of blend into. And then from there with the LBE3, it's like a smaller fluffy little brush. I'm going to go into the deepest shade. This is Afterglow. And I'm just going to lightly take and kind of press that onto the outer V right here. I'm not going to pack the color on because, again, I want it to be a little bit lighter, a little bit more demure. But I'm going to do that for the inner and the outer V. So from here, you guys, it is time. We're going in with the first little stick here. This is in Flash Storm from, again, a KVD Vegan Beauty. And I am just lightly popping it in the center. And then I'm going to just kind of lightly, I think, pat it out with my finger just to make sure that there's not, like, any harshness. And I'm mainly keeping that on, like, the mobile lid portion just to give me, oh my god, that's so good. You guys, I barely touched my lid with this thing. It has so much of a payoff to it. And then, like I mentioned before, I'm going to go in with the intense one here. This is the thundercloud shade, the silver shade. And I am going to put that, oh, oh my god, that is so great. Uh, I'm just going to take and pop that one right in the center and keep it more concentrated there. Kind of lightly draw it up toward the brow bone just to help lift the center of the eye. Wow, that is intense in all the right ways. And you know what I think I want to do just to kind of play around with it a little more? I'm going to take this other shade, the Flash Storm, the pinky one, and I'm going to take that with a little brush here. This is from Manny. This is, do I want this one? Yeah, this is the LBE7. It's like a small little paddle brush. And I want to take some of this on this brush here and just kind of lightly smudge that along the lower lash line. <laughs> along the lower lash line. Did you hear what I said there? Because uh, I feel like that would look really beautiful. Oh my God, that is, oh yes, that is such a good decision. Oh my God, you guys, I am making choices like an A plus student today, let me just tell you. Now I am going back in just very, very, very lightly here with the, um, what was that, the LB3 in that darkest shade, just to make sure that I have a little bit more definition on the inner and outer V because I don't want those colors to get lost with the, um, <laughs> with the shimmer because, you know, your girl did go a little bit heavy handed there, so I wanna make sure I just redefine that ever so gently. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna say that the eyeshadow itself is done, and I'm gonna lock everything in one last time here with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is just the original. And then while that setting spray is drying down, I just went ahead and swatched those uh, Buxom shades, the six shades in that little palette, just so you can see them. I feel like on camera, it's just not doing them justice. They are so, so beautiful. Like, even just, just these shimmer shades are absolutely gorgeous. Like, look, <sighs> look at her. She's so buttery, so soft, so smooth. Even this one down here, like, are you kidding? But moving on from there, I I'm gonna go into mascara next. This is the new one from Lancome. It's their Lash Idol Mascara, and it is available, I believe, now at Ulta. I picked it up a couple of weeks ago, and I have been working with it. And um, normally, for me, the bristle on this, it's more of like a, um, a curved uh, rubber bristle, and typically, these don't work as well for me. I feel like they don't really give me the volume that I need, but so far with this one, I've actually had pretty decent luck, and obviously, you guys will see in the end, like when I do the up close, you'll see what my lashes look like, but I feel like with this, even though the rubber bristles, they still don't give me 
that volume I normally go for, but they still do a very, very nice job at giving me that length and really drawing the mascara all the way through, making my lashes just look very nice and long and actually a little bit more full at the base. So I guess it's not like a like a normal volume type mascara, but it is one um, that does give me, you know, just that little bit of fullness at the base that I really, really like. So I'm going to go ahead, apply a couple of coats of this, and uh, we'll be back to finish up with lips. All right, so while I was off of camera, obviously I did the mascara, and I decided I wanted to go a little bit darker, a little more vampy with the eye. And so I also went in with some of my Fenty liners. I used the black shade Cause I'm Black on the upper waterline, and then on the lower waterline, I used the shade Purple Stuff, which is more of like a, like a purpley shimmer, but when it's paired with the black, it just gives like this really nice, soft, but still deep kind of feel. Um, and I love the two paired together, especially with this eye look. So that's what I did on the eyes, and then I want to finish up, of course, with lips, and I'm going to be pairing both of these new items from Buxom together. These are still, like I said before, from that White Russian line. This is their new White Russian Full Force Plumping Lipstick, and this is a lipstick from Buxom that I have talked about so many times. I freaking love this formula. Oh my god, it's just so beautiful. It has a nice hydration to it. It wears well, and I just, I'm a diehard fan of these. I actually have this one. This is the shade Gladiator. It's like a really deep purple shade, um, but I just, I wear them all the time. I've got neutral shades, pinky shades, and this is like such a beautiful, beautiful color. I will say, um, because obviously this look went a little bit, a little bit, a lot a bit darker than I had intended. Um, this is not, I don't think I want to go in with this by itself. Normally, because I was thinking of just doing like an all over pinky look and this would have been perfect, but I think I want to add like a little, like maybe a slightly darker pink lip liner type situation. Maybe give me, give me a second. All right. So I'm going to go in with this lip liner from ColourPop. You can see it right there. It's just a darker pink shade and this is in the shade Good and Plenty. Yeah, that's about perfect. I, I wanted something that had a little bit more depth to it, but then I'm going to go ahead and take that lighter shade and kind of put it in the center and kind of blend the two. I think it'll look really nice. And then with that lined out, I'm going to take the white Russian lipstick and just kind of put it right in the center. And I'm just going to use the natural kind of smushability here of my lips to blend the two together. All right, so I absolutely love the two of those paired together. It's perfect. It's just, again, like a slightly deeper version once you mix them together of the lipstick. And I feel like it still gives you that nice true pink color, but at the same time, just gives you a little bit more depth. And I think just to round everything out here, we're going to take some of the new Buxom uh, full-on plumping lip polish. This was a part of their BFF collection. And I have this in the shade Wing Woman, which I'll go ahead and swatch for you here. It's more of just like a nude shade. I mean, you can see it doesn't have a ton of color to it. It just has like a slightly kind of bronzery type payoff, like more of like a, like a rose gold, gold kind of shimmer to it. Oh my God, you guys, are you kidding me? Like, look at that. I just, I love Buxom so much. And all right, you guys, with that, we are officially done. Obviously, this is how the full face came together. And I'm having a couple of thoughts. And the first thing I want to say before we get into the up close, you know, where you guys get to see the complexion and how it's really sitting on the skin, I do want to say, if you happen to notice on the side of my nose right here, I know I'm going to get questions. And this is not a foundation issue. If you happen to see that it looks a little patchy, that's just like a my skin issue. I had like a dry patch right there. So things are looking funky. And I don't want the, obviously that's not the foundation's fault. Okay. That's just, that's just my skin going through some winter business. And then the other thing I wanted to mention is that a couple of times ago, I think it was when I went off camera to do my mascara, I came back on and I had used another highlight. And I just want to mention it uh, because at the start of the video, when I used the white Russian one from Buxom, I said I might have to use something else to brighten up my cheeks. And I did end up going in with the ABH Nicole Guerrero kit. And I used a mixture of these three right here because I wanted something that was bright like this shade, but this one was just a little too intense. So I kind of mixed these three shades together right here and created a little bit of a topper just to help bring my cheekbone up, pop it a little more. And then I also put it on the inner corner, the highlight or the brow bone, you know, those kind of normal places. But uh, I just wanted to mention it just in case you're like, um, wait, <laughs> what happened to this, uh, this highlight? Why does it look so popping? That is why. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the up close. That way you guys can see, of course, how everything is looking thus far. And I think for me, like, I'm not going to lie and say that this is the um, best day that I've ever had in terms of foundation. I definitely think this one, it has some positives to it. You know, it has that more natural look and, you know, things like that. But I think as far as my skin goes, I'm starting to wonder if it's going to be, um, a little bit too, um, a little bit too sensitive to like foundations or to just press powders in general, because I'm noticing like right around my jawline under my eyes, like there are several little areas where I'm noticing that this foundation is looking a little bit drier, a little bit more cracky. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's the foundation's fault or even that it makes the foundation good or bad. It just means that for whatever reason, like the pairing of things I have going on, 
on aren't necessarily jiving. But even with the little hiccup that I had with that foundation, or the little hiccup I'm having rather, um, I think everything looks great. I love the brows. The eyeshadow products were amazing. The mascara is actually really good. I like that better than I thought. And just overall, yeah, I just, I, I love the way it looks. And looking in the monitor too, from what I can see without my glasses, um, I love this whole vibe. Like I love the hair. It has like a tasseled look. The eyes are good. The necklace, like everything. Oh, which by the way, um, side note, if you are newer here, I do have, and I say it because this necklace made me think of it, but I do now have an Amazon favorites storefront, which I will link down below. And uh, that is where the necklace is. I have it divided into different categories. This one's under jewelry, obviously. Um, but I have like makeup in there, hair care, skin care, random things, nail care, whatnot. So make sure you check that out. I'll have it linked down below. And I will link to anything else that I can, like the earrings, or I don't think I can link, I don't think I can link the shirt. This is an older one from Torrid. I got it like eight-ish months ago, but it's super cute. Love the cut. So if I can find anything similar, um, I will link that. Uh, but yeah, I can't think of anything else. So let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments. What do you think on the products? Have you tried them? Do you love them? Are you curious about them? Give me all of your thoughts and opinions down there. And as always, like I said at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram, all of which I would greatly, greatly appreciate. And you guys, I think that that's everything. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. She's beauty and she's grace. She's a Miss United States. I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill. And I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. That is so rude. So rude. Actually, fun fact. This is um, a concealer that I... Okay. I love that I went into this wanting like a light little Polly Pocket pink moment. That sounds really bad. <laughs> girlfriend. Girlfriend. Eh, girlfriend. Girlfriend. Anybody else? Son-in-law? No? Okay. <laughs> just me. Anybody else just incorporate random movies from the 90s like into their day-to-day -day life? Or am I the only 31-year-old here? Hello? Can I get an amen?